Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, Huntmaster. Very nice. Spell Queller. That's a good card too. Five bucks each. Now we're having fun. <laughs> Since it's all gravy at this point, Blood Braid Elf. Couple bucks times four. It's quite a collection. I feel like almost I should just be putting this back into the binder. Why did I not just do that from the beginning? Fracturing Gust. Wow, this has got the from the vault uh, foiling process. I don't know. It's from the vault. I don't know what set this is. But I'm going to have to add it in, so I'll find out here in a second. Fracture Ring Gus from the Vault Annihilation. Ten bucks. And there are two of these. Very nice. So this one needs a sleeve. And it's in good shape. Rise and Fall. Dissension. Nope. Huntmaster of the Fells, we've got two of these. And you flip them over into Ravager of the Fells, and this card has been going up lately because of werewolves. 35, 71 times two. I will take it. Very, very happy with this now. It looked a little scary when that first binder, when I popped it open, there was kind of hardly anything going on in there. So we've got a... Uh, Electrolyze, let's see what a foil um, Modern Masters one would be. It's only 72 cents, so I think that card sees a little bit of play, but not a whole lot. We got Zealous Persecution. Got four of these. And that's not going to be much better. Or at all. Original Terminate from Plane Shift? Plane Chase? Plane shift, yeah, to four of these. Uh, Supreme Verdict. Four of these. And they've been reprinted, of course. 750. There's a quick 30 bucks right there. Fulminator Mage. So once they started reprinting this card, it started going down in price. Imagine that. 260. Wear and tear, and this is all usable, good stuff. Pretty good collection here. Uh, voice. A couple of Voice of Resurgence. Cool art. The best card out of Dragon's Maze. Probably still is, I think. Kitchen Finks. This is one that is now... Not worth what it used to be. Plus 39, the original. Yeah, the Ultimate Masters printing kind of killed it. Karanos. Four of these. They're six bucks each. Yeah, it's like work. Drug School Captain. Oops. Not enough. This used to be a buck fifty. Oops. Yeah, this binder is like ripping. So there's an argument for why I would take these out of the binder. A couple of detention spheres. And that's the wrong version. Nothing's perfect. Here we go. Sphinx's revelation. Four of these. They are 320. They were a big deal when it was in standard. Alright, what's on the next page? We got Abrupt K. Been reprinted now. Grab the two of those. 585. Whoops. Hitting stuff over here. Counterflux, I don't think, is going to be anything. It is probably a bulk rare, but it's not coming through for some reason. Moving on. Lightning Helix just won. 
And must be losing my connection here. Ravnica City of Guilds, it's probably maybe a buck or two right now. Um it's gonna have to catch up. 99 cents on the counterflux. Oh man, I was wrong. So I think we had four of those. The helix is a not not applicable. Mid says a dollar forty one on the on that. Colgan's command. So I think this card is better than I think it is. Or I now I think it's good, so it hopefully it's in line. There we go. Yeah, it I for a while I thought this was kind of a nothing card. I think I skipped by it maybe once or twice in previous videos, but now I do not. And I think it said it was about twelve bucks, so I'm in trouble with the connection here. We got Geist of St. Traft, and we got a uh, couple versions of it here. That's interesting. So here's the original Innistrad, 349. A, um, some kind of promo from back in the day. WMCQ promo cards, interesting. So that one's 15 bucks, it can go in a sleeve. That's from a dual deck. All right, so this is kind of nice. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen this version. It's very cool. Olivia Voldaren. So, Olivia doing stuff in uh, Innistrad Midnight Hunt right now. So, this card with the release of Crimson Vow, maybe this will come back up. There'll be a Olivia Tribal going on. Hey, that's decent. 1356. I'm going to put a sleeve on this one. Prized Amalgam. Four of those. I'm so glad to see these binders full of stuff over a dollar and not just stuff under a dollar. You know what I mean? Got some game day promo. Is it charms? And they've been reprinted, of course. Uh, Friday Night Magic promo. There's three of these. Decent. Siege Rhino. Times four. Actually, it's still over 90 cents. And Grim Flare. Get him? Four Grim Flares. Five bucks each. One Basilisk Collar, which I also got reprinted a couple times. And it's still 450. Nile Spellbomb, that's interesting. So this is definitely like a player. I mean, it's not like money, it's not a money card. It's actually kind of okay. Um, it's been reprinted a little bit. And it's 50 cents for the original. Here we go. What else we got? Come on, let's get some land. Hey, 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 Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, that is awesome. Dude. Okay. I was just kind of joking about having land on this page, but here they are. This is it. This is it. We got the Ghost Quarter. Buck 50, different version. In a Strad. Inventor's Fair. Man, this guy went all out. Getting foil fetch lands. Three Inventor Fairs. We got one Konzatar Cure Foil Flooded Strand. So, uh, let me see if it'll see it first. Yeah. 43 bucks the regular. The foil. 57. Interesting. You you would think the foil would be a lot more, and maybe the foil price will start kind of creeping up. But I think the demand for fetch lands is still sky high, and uh, people are just taking it, you know, trying to get the the cheaper version, but it's driving it up. So these foil versions are due to take off. I'm gonna put this in the special pile where I'll show it off at the end, probably. Got some bloomy marsh. They are nine bucks a piece. 
We do have a foil of Bloodstained Mire. Let's see if it sees it. It's pretty dark. Bloodstained Mire, $44.95. The regular. The foil. $69.99. Now we're talking. Here we go. Here we've got original Zendikar Marsh Flats. One, two, three. Amazing. Yeah, these are pretty decent. Twenty-six bucks on their own. One, two, three. Great. Two foil polluted deltas. Cons of Tarkir version. Forty-nine times two. Foil. Seventy bucks each. There it is. Now I got Arid Maces. How many do we how many of these do we have? One. And a playset. Wow. 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 Five arid maces. That is amazing. That is so cool. Um yeah. Yeah, we're doing really good now. I'm gonna make the same joke. Um, I hope there's land on the next page. Yeah, all right. Not quite as good. That's okay. We've got a glacial fortress M10. Now I'm really wondering what's in those sleeves. Is that a cube? Shambling vent. Wow, one, two, three, four, five, six shambling vents. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's scan them all since they've already been on the list. A um, quagmire. Giggity. There's four of these. Uh, Raging Ravine. World Wake. Ooh, what else comes from World Wake? I wonder. 248 reprinted. Four of those. Oops, go back. The Desolate Lighthouse. Funny stuff. 51 cents. Tectonic Edge. Uh, I think it's an okay card, right? Yeah, it's over a buck. There's four of those. Look at this. A Friday Night Magic Pendlehaven. Or a DCI, actually. Um, that's pretty cool. Let's see what that goes for. Man, I can't get to it. Friday Night Magic DCI. Pendlehaven. In good shape. 357 for the Masters version. Uh, is this a... It's a Friday Night Magic, so 645. Great. It's not the Judge promo. Sanctum. Did we find those before? Oh my gosh, hold on. Um, wait, hold on. It scanned two and then it got a fall, so hold on. One more. They were a little bit. River of Tears. Gosh, okay. One, two, three, four from Iconic. Five bucks. So this is just the gift that keeps on giving here. Seagate Wreckage. Fifty cents each. Stirring Wildwood. Alright, this. Uh, it's like a dual deck. Under a dollar, under 90 cents, that's it. Okay. All right. Next page, more lands? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like what I see. Oh, this is some good stuff. Very, very cool. Great. Oh, cliffs. Excellent. So we got some brush land. Yeah. Whoo. We got some shock lands. These are great. 13 bucks each. Wow. Brush land. 
Mana Confluence. Three of these, great. Amazing. 22 bucks now. Put those ones into the sleeves. We got some Urborgs. Got more than one Urborg here. 23. 27 bucks for Urborg. Man, there must be a whole thing about making your everybody's lands into swamps. Creeping Tar Pit. Ultimate Masters reprinted, but this is the World Wake. It's four. Two of those. Twilight Mire. So what do they call these? The Filter Lands, I think. Um, and they're they're okay. They're nothing super big. That's good. That's good. I think did this one get reprinted? In ma a double Masters. Yeah. Okay. Nykthos. We have got a playset of Nykthos. They're 27 bucks each. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. We're doing it. This is why I gamble. Um, and, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. This time I'm winning. Very happy. Land more wastes. Three. Uh, M15. T3. Actually, my stack is so big here, I need to actually, like, do something with it before it falls over. And, uh, wow. Wow. Okay, there we go. Siobhan Reef. Playset. M15. Four. There we go. It keeps on going. There's another page here. I don't want to peek. I want to be hopefully pleasantly surprised by whatever's on the end of that. Copper Line Gorge. Wow, 11 bucks each. The playsets are really doing it here. Gotta say. C Chrome. Um, just two. Thirteen. Which, I'm just going to check since it went in here. It's an expedition reprint. And that didn't do a lot for it, I don't think. Alright. Black Cleave Cliffs. This card was up to $50 at one point. I have a feeling it's come back down. I haven't really checked on it lately. Let's see. $39.95. Still very nice. Uh, probably due for a reprint. Did it get reprinted as a Zendikar? Yep, Zendikar Rising Expedition. Didn't do much. The the lands are just going to always be in demand. Dark Slick. 23. The lands are where it's at. Watery Grave. Only one Watery Grave. Man, I feel cheated. 12 bucks. Come on, you guys know I'm kidding. God's Shrine. Playset. 12 each. Excellent. Alright, next page. What's on it? We're coming down to the end of this. We got... Whoa. Okay, great. We got a Worm Coil. We got a Ulamog. This is amazing. And here's the rest of the shock. Land. Sacred Foundry. 20 bucks each. Again, demand. I mean, you. Again, let's see, when were they reprinted last? Gills of Ravnica. Crazy. Breeding pools. Only three. So one got used somewhere. 24. Can't believe it. Uh, yep, I can just stick them over here. Overground Tomb. Times three. Temple Garden. Times two. And 
Cinder Glade. Nope, not that one. B for Z times four, there we go. Alright, I need to pause. Okay, stomping ground. Four of these. And ten bucks. What's down here? A couple of blood crypts. Seventeen. We we're over five grand, so this is turning out pretty good. Steam vents. Seventeen a piece. And we still have whatever was in that bag with all the sleeves, so I'm pretty stoked about that as well. And these Death Touch tokens are actually the Death Touch lifelink and goat on the back. Let's see if I can find the different version. 2014, we got the Death Touch is two bucks, and the Life Touch is presumably the same. Let's see. Yep, there it is, a couple bucks. So. And here is the worm coil engine to go with it. Yep. 27 bucks on the reprint. One of the reprints. This one's 24.95. Uh, I didn't even notice when I glanced at this page that there's an engineered explosive right there. That's great. This card is coming back up. Oh, there's two of them. Excellent. 35 times two. So, this card has seen some big swings when it got reprinted. It dropped way down. Now it is on its way back up. So, that's a win in my book. Ulamog, The Ceaseless Hunger. Uh, let me see. Just the one. B for Z. 55. Gotta be the best card in the set, right? And it gets a sleeve. Let's treat it right. Here we go. Amazing. Amazing. We got a torpor orb. Uh, yep, that's probably useful. 24. Oh man, they saved some good stuff for the end here. All this dust. Modern Masters. Ten. Some mine stones. Oops. Different version. Three. Endbringer. Let's just pull out these and we'll scan them. Oh my gosh, we got Ratchet Bomb. Different version. We always gotta check. The M14, it's 99 cents. We got a spatial contortion. Granite Magic promo under 90 cents. And there's a end bringer. I think we found it for must be just over 99 cents. Last page, what's on the back of this? We got Spell Skite, that's okay. Ghoul Collar's Bell is probably nothing. couple of spell skites these have come back down they're not really used as much anymore I think right or they've gotten uh, reprinted we got a matter reshaper those are a couple bucks and there's four of them light herder and the scanner says they're 47 cents. Phyrexian Revoker, five of those. They are over a buck. We'll take them. We're now at 5,346 bucks after going through all of this and leaving behind the ceremonious re rejections. Wow, I am really in awe. Uh, that was great. I was very hopeful that I would break even. I did not know that I was going to potentially be doubling or tripling my money here. So that's great. Found some fetch lands. Um, I'm going to 
open up that bag with all of the other stuff next. <laughs>